Hey guys, this is Swapnil Bharatiya from Muktwe.com again. Uh, you must have seen my previous video of Ubuntu running on Nexus 7. Then I just thought of uh, installing Kubuntu on it. So I just uh, installed Kubuntu desktop on top of Ubuntu. So this is uh, Kubuntu or KDE running on the Google Nexus 7 tablet. What I found interesting was, uh, first of all, I was not able to install uh, Plasma Mobile on it because this is a ARM uh, processor and I don't think that's uh, available uh, with the Kubuntu Plasma PPAs. But what I found interesting is that this desktop version of Kubuntu is actually running better and faster than uh, Ubuntu Unity. It's very responsive uh, to touch uh, uh, and as you can see here and uh, I will be using my mouse and keyboard. Once again, since it's not, uh, as usual, I said, touch sensitive, so, uh, but you can see how responsive it is when compared to Unity. Uh, I'm trying to open file manager and you will see how fast that would be, you see, it's, 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 it's really fast. You, and you can see how responsive it is compared to Unity, uh, things were like hanging there. And we can close it. mouse is always helpful and you can go to system settings and you have the whole system you can see how fast it is opening that is what is more surprising I was not expecting I was actually thinking that Kubuntu is more resource hungry or KD is more resource hungry but that doesn't turn out to be true and uh, let's go to and see what it's it's really fluid it's just flowing flowing like something you would love there and this is our word processor LibreOffice opening on it's, it's really fast and let's try again uh, Ubuntu running on Google Nexus 7 so that that's it we show you what I typed here because the screen is small so Google is uh, Ubuntu is running on Google Nexus 7 tablet and I don't know how it is uh, because I might have to configure the devices because right now it's not configured very well to detect the touch. So sometimes it works in a different manner. Uh, the input devices, uh, unlike uh, Ubuntu, it's also it also shows the the hardware. It, if you look at system settings. And if you go to display and monitor, you'll see it's, it's showing this monitor here. Now, what is interesting, you might have noticed, is it's very fast. That is that is what is uh, surprising for me. I was, it's actually, Kubuntu looks like far more uh, useful and usable on this tablet. Of course, um, the same problem is there. Icons are smaller, but if I'm able to run, if you're able to run uh, Plasma KD on it, then that might be interesting. The problem with application will remain the same. But only thing I found fascinating here is that uh, Kubuntu is actually more responsive than uh, Ubuntu Unity. It looks uh, quite polished as well. This is Amarok. Of course, uh, audio is not working right now, so you cannot play music it will play but I don't think you will be able to hear anything let me see the speaker mixture setting but uh, yeah I don't think you'll be able to listen to anything here hardware So that's your Amarok and then 
you have web browser you have graphics internet Krita is there let's see how Krita works there on a tablet I very much doubt oh it has to be restarted it may not run on this processor what else is there So here you go with GIMP and here you, as you now this is the problem as you see uh, these the menus they are so small that if you are using your finger it's, it's, yeah, it's working like that but it's, it, you will be holding a microscope or a lens to see what you want to do here but you see you can see it's barely visible so you cannot even select or deselecting anyway you, you can try to use it as you can see I am trying to do something here and Kubuntu on Nexus my handwriting is bad so you can ignore it but what you can see here if you see my previous video on Ubuntu Unity the response time is really really impressive here I don't think multi-touch okay what else to show here let's see computer settings are there it's also showing hardware hard drive and I think that's pretty much what is there to see you can of course you have text editor k right and k g edit because it's running on top And if you try to save it, file. Now you see, it's, it's, I cannot even select the file options if I want to. It's it's uh, it's bad. So I I I, I wish Active Plasma will be available for this tablet. So here you see, I just type something and saved here that's your desktop that's your Amarok playing you see it's, it's really fast as compared to unity this this I keep repeating it because it's something really fascinating it, it has changed the whole perspective you will have about uh, uh, Kubuntu that or KD that is actually slow that's not true it's working actually faster than okay let's try to add some widget here that's uh, analog clock will it add or it just wait I think it's it has hanged or something no it's just uh, a bit slow not working from what I can see right now or maybe it's uh, hanged I'll give it one more time and then we'll see somehow it's uh, it's not working here Yeah, it's just totally not responding. There's no response whatsoever. So I leave it there, but you can very clearly see that uh, Kubuntu is also uh, playable here, and you can 
use Kubuntu or KDE on Nexus 7 as well. So that's your video for now. Uh, I don't think I will be keeping Ubuntu on this device because there is not much that I can do right now. So I'll be putting Android back, but I'll keep coming back and we'll be testing how uh, Ubuntu Unity or Kubuntu is uh, progressing on this device. But uh, from what I see right now, I'm actually more excited about seeing Kubuntu or any other KDE based distribution running on this tablet. So enjoy and let me know what you think about this video. Bye-bye.